Okay guys, so check this out. Eminem is back with part two of the Kamikaze interview with Sway Holloway. Once again, the two hip-hop aficionados dive into a bevy of topics, including the real reason M dissed Machine Gun Kelly on Not Alike and his relationship with Joe Budden. How do you describe your relationship with Joe Budden? I mean, listen, me and Joe Budden aren't, you know, we're not friends like that. We're not like, we didn't go to the same fucking high school or something, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I get that part, but when I'm out here flying around to different places and doing interviews and trying to use my platform to pump up Slaughterhouse every chance I get, and you're using your platform to fucking trash me, and I'm one of the things that keeps this shit moving. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you're doing something, you got a voice in hip hop, so you actually could be affecting this ship a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't owe me nothing. But I've never got in a fucking interview and been like, Joe Button shit is fucking trash. Now that last album he put out is fucking trash. So that's, that's kind of the attitude I took to this whole album. Kamikaze is like, all right, what if I give everybody my opinion about them? From there, Em addresses what happened to Slaughterhouse and why he chose the diss button on Fall from Shady's 10th studio album. The reason I had to do that is because, like I said, there's a, there's a, there's a fine line between saying, you know what, this guy's really been cool to me. He's helped me out and tried to help out on many occasions. So I'm not gonna go in on Untouchable like that. I'm gonna say it ain't for me, I'm not crazy about it, whatever, whatever. But to, to be the worst song you've ever heard in your life, have you listened to your own shit? Do you not listen back? Because if that's the worst fucking song you've ever heard in your life, I don't know. Finally, Sway asked about Machine Gun Kelly and what was going on behind the scenes. He reveals it had nothing to do with a comment about his daughter, Haley. Just for the record, the, the thing that was going on that he was saying about my daughter, I didn't even know about that until like literally like a year and a half later. Okay. I wasn't, it just, it never hit my radar. And then one day, you know, you go down the fucking wormhole of YouTube and whatever, right? <laughs> so I see, Machine Gun Kelly talks about Eminem's daughter, whatever, right? So what the fuck? Click on it. Like, yo, why is he? Then he starts doing a, a press run, basically, about Haley. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, my man better yeah. chill, right? So that's not why I dissed him. The reason I dissed him is actually a lot more petty than that. First he said, first, first when he said, I, I'm, a, I'm the greatest rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from J45 or whatever he said, right? Like I'm trying to hinder his career. So I give a fuck about your career. You think I actually fucking think about you? You know how many fucking rappers that are, <laughs> are better than you? You're not even in the fucking conversation. He continues. But then when you get on Tech 9s album and you start sending shots, and people start hitting me up, yo, Machine Gun dissed you, he just dissed you, he dissed you. And by the way, this was on the heels of the freestyle he had just did about Shade 45s. Like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Now I'm in this fucking weird thing because I'm like, I gotta answer this motherfucker. And every time I do that, it makes that person as, as irrelevant as people say I am, am in hip hop, yeah. I make them bigger by getting into this thing where I'm like, I wanna destroy him, but I also don't wanna make him bigger. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because now you're a fucking enemy. When asked if he heard MGK's rap devil diss track, he replies, It's it's not bad for him. Mm -hmm. He has some good lines in it. However, he remains indecisive about how or if he's going to respond. I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna wait for a second just to see because if people start firing off and I try to answer every fucking buddy that I dissed on Kamikaze or had words about, I'm gonna be going the next five fucking years <laughs> making this song after this song. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. In part three, M will talk about Dr. Dre and the song the NWA legend dated for going too far. So, what do you guys think? Did M have legitimate reasons to diss both Joe Budden and MGK? Let us know in the comments section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.